Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Manana Manatu. I have quite a few blogs already, <laughs> but I had always had this wrong stigma about how girls had to talk about fashion and men had to talk about sports. So I am here to break the stigma and I am talking to you about one of my favorite, most passionate topics, the Formula One. Hi guys, thank you so much for visiting my channel. For the first few videos, I'm going to be talking to you about the documentary of the Formula One on Netflix. I don't know if any of you had had the chance to watch it already, but oh my gosh, it's epic. I highly recommend it to you. It's called Drive to Survive. What a more epic name than that. <laughs> so there's two seasons. They're currently working on the third one, but the third one is obviously gonna be a bit more different than normal because, hell, what is normal right now? <laughs> so the name of the first episode is called All to Play For. It's really funny how the episode starts because it talks about their families how they wanted to do this since they were very young. And I remember on a bit of the show, Daniel Ricardo's mom says something like, oh, we used to go to the pits whenever he was young, and I used to think, poor mom. And now I'm that mom suffering. Because, I mean, of course they're professionals, and they're athletes, and they practice this all the time. But that doesn't guarantee that bad things won't happen. I'm not trying to be negative here, but there has been a pressure to. We're gonna be talking about that on future episodes. I don't wanna spoil it for you yet, but it's true. Driving is a dangerous sport. The team principals are aware of it. The families are aware of it. Even the own drivers are aware of it. Kevin Magnuson, is part of the Haas team. I'm gonna be presenting you each one of the players to y'all and their team principals. But Kevin Magnuson always says that he's not afraid to die. All he cares about is doing a good job and winning in the Formula One. He's also known as the bad boy of the Formula One, so yeah, his comments are a little bit dramatic. But I have to say, he is one of my favorite pilots. He's really good and he seems very passionate about what he does. So the first season is filmed in the 2018 championship. The players can change year by year. So I'm gonna give you the lineup of the 2018 teams. Every single year, there's 21 races in five continents, 10 teams, 20 drivers, and only one winner. For 2018, the teams with their principals were the following. Mercedes-Benz, Toto Wolf. Then we have Ferrari with a new team principal. He used to be the technical director, Matias Binotto. We have Renault also with a new team principal. Cyril, wait, I have to read this, it's kind of hard to pronounce. Abi, Abitebul. Cyril Abitebul. Then we've got McLaren, Zach Brown. Haas with Gunther Steiner, Red Bull, also known as Aston Martin Red Bull, which later on it changed. And a little spoiler, in 221, Aston Martin is going to be the new Force India. So Force India came Race Point, and now Race Point is gonna become Aston Martin. So from Red Bull, we've got Christine Horner, married to a Spice Girl. <laughs> Whoop whoop, you go boy. Then we've got Sobert with Frederic Basser. Toro Rosso with Franz Toast. We've got Force India with the High Mania. And Williams with Girl Power. Claire Williams, the daughter of the Williams founder, is the team principal of the Williams team. I mean, how legit and cool is that? So now let's present to you the drivers or pilots of each one of the teams. So for Mercedes, we've got Louis Hamilton from the UK and Batri Bottas from Finland. Then we've got Force India with Chego Perez, my paisano, Mexico, Iaz, and Esteban Ocon from France. Up next, with the newest team from the Formula One, we've got the Haas team. 
with Kevin Magnussen from Denmark and Romain Grosjean from Switzerland. Then in Team Renault, we have Carlos Sainz from Spain and Nico Hülkenberg from Germany. Up next, we've got the McLaren team with Fernando Alonso from Spain and Stoffel van Dur from Belgium. In the Ferrari team, we've got Sebastian Vettel from Germany and Kimi Raikkonen from Finland. Then in the Toro Rosso team, we have newcomer Pierre Gasly from France and Brandon Hartley from New Zealand. Next, the Silbert team with another newcomer, Charles Leclerc from Monaco and Marcus Ericsson from Sweden. Then for the Williams team, we've got Lance Stroll from Canada. You won't be hearing much about him in the upcoming season. And Sergei Sirotkin from Russia. And last but not least, we've got Red Bull with Daniel Ricciardo, one of the most popular drivers of all the Formula One. He's from Australia and another kind of newcomer, Max Verstappen from Belgium. So a little bit of the procedure of the Formula One is that on Fridays, they practice, you know, to get accustomed to the track and to their cars and to everything. You have no idea how many crashes actually happened during practice. The first race of 2018 was in Australia. And one of the things they mention is that a year before, that meaning 2017, there were three crashes during practice day. Then on Saturday, they have the qualifying day. This is based on how long they take on doing their laps and everything. That gives them the answer on what place it will start in Sunday on race day. So the first episode doesn't really tell you much. It basically gives you an introduction to the Formula One and a little bit of their drivers and you know what's been happening and there's been some changes on the teams and on the team principals and newcomers and new buyers and retirements and you know lots of things something they do mention is that well unfortunately Daniel Ricardo has never won in his home country and this wasn't exactly the case either so the first place was for Vettel, the second for Hamilton, third place for Raikkonen, and so close to getting on the podium in his home country, Ricardo on fourth. I wanted to pull my hair when I saw that episode and I was like, what? So close. And it was like by this, it was Raikkonen and then boom, Ricardo. I was like, this is not normal. This is not of God. <laughs> Another thing that happens is they talk a lot about the Haas team because they are the newcomers and they're doing better and better. I think they've been like three years on the Formula One by 2018. So Max Verstappen, they put a lot of emphasis on him too because he's a newcomer and he does really, really good on all of the races. And what happens to him? The race starts and he's the first one out. His car started spinning and he lost a little bit of control. He didn't crash, but the car stopped working. So he had to get out of the race, disqualified from the race. And then, as I mentioned, they put a lot of emphasis on the Haas team because all eyes are on them since they're the only American team and the newest team on the Formula One. So everything is going smooth. They had never started so high up on the race day, they started on fourth and fifth. First things first, Kevin Magnussen goes to boxes. They change his wheels. The back left wheel was not properly tightened and the car starts slowing down. Two laps after, Romain Grosjean goes into the boxes. They change his wheels. And then the front left wheel wasn't tightened enough. And this car starts slowing down too. So in two laps, they both got disqualified from what could have been the best race since the Haas team started, ended up in disaster. So Gunther Steiner is their team principal and he is a man of quotes. He has so many, like, so many hilarious sayings or so many 
like iconic sayings. But I'm gonna close this video with two things that he said that were so true. In Formula One, the highs are very highs and the lows are very low. He loves the word winker. He was talking with Gene, the owner of the Haas team, and he was like, we started like rock stars and we ended up looking like one guys. You're gonna be seeing throughout the seasons that he is always saying the word winker. He is hilarious because he's such a cranky man, but this makes him so funny. And another thing that he said that I would love to close with this quote, why do people watch the Formula One? We watch it because we want to see action, drama. We want to see the underdog making the result. This was Manana Manatu. See you next week for the second episode of Drive to Survive. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.